Okay. Oh, God, kill me. <laughs> There it is. New reactions every single day. Hit the bell, hit the sub. Let's go. All right, guys. Well, uh, do we have, is this the background that we're going to use? Look at George. Is, is there a way we can do like a green screen? Can we bring in a green screen there, Jimmy? <laughs> he just follows me around with a green screen. You ever done a reaction before? Nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've reacted. Certainly. Oh, I've oh, I reacted at these, but never like this before. All right, good. So we're going to play. We're going to roll up. Okay. Oh. God, kill me. <laughs> Look, there it is. There's my name. It's another check for daddy. <laughs> That's another check for daddy. Nice. This is Endor. Oh, he dropped something. <laughs> the plot. There's Ray. Oh, what, what character development. What an arc for Ray, huh? I mean, Jesus Christ, at the end of Empire, Luke had his hand taken off and Han Solo was in carbonite or whatever. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's great because I didn't make it. Ultimately, uh, I'm not to blame. It's great because I didn't make it. Her sister died or something trying to throw a space grenade. And they saved a bunch of horses or something. And... Oh, look, it's Camino. Look at that. That's where all the cloners live. <laughs> well, I can actually feel my life essence draining from me as I watch this. Nice. <laughs> this thing needs more Gundams. Needs more really Gundams. Get all pissed off. Get all worked up. <laughs> One of Ralph Macquarie's pieces, just taking a sh on that. Hey kid, you ever see a, <laughs> nice. you ever see a Star Destroyer come out of the ocean? Well, you're going to see it now. People give me sh about Jar Jar Binks. They say, oh, this is stupid. Well, are you happy I'm gone now? You don't have daddy to kick around anymore because this is what you get. What is that? There's, oh, so savage. There's, there's C-3PO. There? Oh, there's a hair dryer. There's a robot. There's a soccer ball as a robot, a hair dryer. Let's just let's put a dildo in there. Why not? Because you know what? We're just f***ing my sagger right in the end. <laughs> That's what this is. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. You know what that sound is? That's the sound of a thousand executives just taking a s*** <laughs> on my work. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, it's desert. It's another desert planet. Well, I wonder which one this is. Look how exciting. The saga will end. Thank God. Put it out of its misery. Oh, there's a space version. Ooh, Put it out of its misery. God, thank God they tied up that that gem of a storyline. Oh, I'm so relieved they didn't make this. George is so savage. I'm so relieved. This makes Attack of the Clones look like Citizen Kane. Looks like Citizen Kane? <laughs> Take a lightsaber to the saga's head and just cauterize that thing as it's time to... So savage. Yeah, I know the ending of this film. I'm gonna spoil it for you. Spoiler alert. Here's how the film ends. Ready? At the very end, Star Wars dies. <laughs> well, I think my favorite part about the trailer was the beginning when it said uh, my name. <laughs> it said Lucasfilm. You know, the whole idea of the hero's journey was you have someone who is leaving home for the first time into a new world and uh, they don't have any skills and they fail time and again. And I guess in the new yeah. series. <laughs> They've rewritten the hero's journey to where the hero is already perfect at, you know, flying spaceships and, and uh, everything. attacking the enemy <laughs> and wielding a lightsaber and ultimately learns how to levitate not just one stone but like 30 of them. Which is helpful because then the crystal foxes can escape the uh, cavern. <laughs> he's I mean, he's just see, destroying I mean, it's, the last it's, Jedi. It's absolute you know, At this point, people have asked me if I would like to do more Star Wars. I, I was really uh, deeply hurt by the fan response to the prequels you know when those movies came out they were very risky for me because they were more operatic they were they were more tone poems it wasn't about dialogue or oh, is that right or logic or reason or any semblance of uh, traditional filmmaking in, in any way that we've ever known it since the beginning of cinema and uh, the fact that people for some reason didn't like that was very upsetting to me so <laughs> I just said uh, I'm out. So I think with this film, I'm gone. Uh, Star Wars uh, has officially died, but I am still here. <laughs> Get that laugh. All right, guys. What a great well, job, uh, man. Do we have what a great job? Gonna... <laughs> he was just destroying this movie, and even I, I did like how I mean the person, the Collider, who they did this. Uh, they had, they knew about the the throne room lore. It was originally uh, an art style that was used. Uh, from George Lucas and his team, and they used the art style for Palpatine's throne, and I like how he brought it in here. He's like, oh, just bringing it in the new movie to, to shit all over it. So, very, very nice, very nice. Let me know if you guys enjoyed Mr. George Lucas, the deep fake version.
reacting to the whole thing. I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was fantastic. Post in the comments below. What, what, what'd you like about it? What was the funniest part? And hey, reactions every single day. Check the channel on some other reactions, Star Wars reactions, movies reactions. Uh, take a look at the content, all right? We're trying to get to that first milestone or 1K subscribers. So I'd love it if you guys would be along for that journey. Take care and be easy.